Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add all your subscribed channels, all the channels that you subscribe to. You're going to add them to this link right here. Now this is going to be under your layouts. So let's um, let's go ahead and choose uh, a channel that uh, I probably haven't subscribed to yet. And um, by what the heck, you know, Criminal News Network, we'll add that. How about that? <clears throat> okay, before we get slammed with the copyright thing or whatever. All right, so you have two options. You can either go to the address bar up here, highlight it, right click, copy. Or... You can go even quicker. You go down here and just um, highlight and copy this link here. Now, see, they don't have. Shh, stop interrupting me. So, click on this right here. You know, let's just make it easier. Just take it from the address bar. So, at CNN, okay? I'm going to unsubscribe because I. Not, <clears throat> I don't follow that channel. Okay, so go over here. You'll see your icon, which more likely would be the, um, um, you know, whatever your icon is for your channel, whatever represents your channel. That's going to show up here on the top right-hand corner next to your notifications. So click on that. Click on your channel. Okay, takes you right back. So in order to adjust any of these links, make them show up or not, or to customize each one of these links, let's say we're going to do channels. This is uh, pretty much what this tutorial is about anyway. So you can see everybody I'm subbed to. A lot of them. It's about 78 of them, I think. There's a lot more that I just didn't list on here. <clears throat> so, in order to add their channels like this to your own YouTube channel, you click on Customize Channel. Okay, now... Your very first option by default is layout, and that's where we want to be. Okay. So you scroll down. Now this is this right here helps set up how your links um, are controlled and what they look like. This is a layout section. You can see, you know, I have previews of uh, my most recent chant. Uh, Gosh, uh, videos. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> so these are previews, and you can click on each and every one of those uh, if we were on my home page. I have live now, which will show a small window and then with the word live in red and white letters. And then down here, this is what we're going for. This is what we're going to adjust. Featured channels, and I have called mine channels to follow. I have 78. Or 79. Now, something a lot of people might overlook because they're so tiny is these three little dots right here. Click on those three dots. You can either remove that section or you can edit the section. Uh, also, if you grab this right here, you can see where it turns into a hand. You can change it around. So I can drop it like that and it switches it around so that will change it on the home page. Um, I don't want it like that so I'm going to put it back the way it was. Okay, so let's go back to these three dots. We click on these three dots. We're going to edit section contents. There we go. Now, see, section title, channels to follow. You can change it to whatever you want to. Any channel on YouTube. This is where you're going to load that link. Now remember I selected CNN. 
So you can right click and paste it in if you want to, or you can type it in. There you go, there it is. At C at it, right? So you go down here. That's if you're happy with your selection, and you go down here and you hit done. And normally this takes about 15 20 minutes before the changes uh, take place, but the changes will not take place until you hit publish. Okay. Now you're not going to see anything here, so you have to go to view channel. This will show your changes. Like I said, it takes sometimes it takes right up to about 15 20 minutes for changes to show up. So we want to go to channels. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. And you can swap these around just like I did in the layout section. You can swap these around just by grabbing one and moving it. Um, I don't feel like organizing. So uh, let's go to. Um, to the bottom of the page here because CNN should show up at the bottom and there we go we have CNN to do just the opposite we click on channels customize channel and since I don't really subscribe to CNN and I'm not a big fan of them I'm going to take them out of the list so we go back just like we did before, edit section contents. Okay. So if you have a long list, <laughs> be patient and scroll through the whole mess because you will eventually find it. And since this, you know, this was the last thing I added, go right here and see the trash can. Click on the trash can to remove that channel. Click done and remember. Anytime you make changes in here, whether it be layout, branding, or basic information, you will have to go up here and publish it. That makes it official. So don't forget to hit that publish button. <clears throat> and now to see your changes, you click on view channel. And uh, click on channels. We scroll down to the bottom. Uh oh, look at that. What the heck? Let's refresh and see what happens. Oh, I should have never chose a criminal news network. Look what I did. I made a mess of things. <laughs> well, you never know what's going to happen, do you? Whoops. Try not to do so. I'll try not to uh, get distracted by the brunettes here. <laughs> well, we may have to go back in there and do that later, but you understand how it works now, hopefully. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down at the bottom of the page. And don't forget to like, to subscribe, and share this channel out. I appreciate it. Everybody have a good day or good evening or whatever the case may be. Maybe we'll do more tutorials in the future. This is Storms with Storms Radios and Cats. We're out.